is ADDIE? ADDIE is an acronym we hear quite often as instructional designers. But what ADDIE really is, is it is a model that instructional designers use to design and deliver training. Um, how we perform each step of that model varies by project, by company. Um, there are all kinds of different you know, processes out there to do each step of this acronym differently, which is why you might hear so many different types of instructional design models. But they all have one thing in common. They all follow ADDIE, regardless of which one it is. ADDIE means analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. So that's what the acronym stands for. The acronym is generic. It stands for Analysis, Design, Development, Implementation, Evaluation. And let's talk about what each of those phases really is. So we have A for analysis. That's where we really plan the who, what, where, when, how. We do a gap analysis and we figure out what are we going to do? And I go into each of these steps more in depth in other videos, so I'm not planning on doing that here. This is just a very general overview. We have design, which is where we really create the blueprint. And I'm speaking to the non-instructional designer. So if you're an expert instructional designer, you're thinking, well, design, we do. I'm not speaking to you. Um, I'm speaking to the entry level person. So design is really where, where we design it, where we design what we're going to do. We create that blueprint of what it's going to look like. In development, we actually develop it out, however we're going to do that. In implementation, that's where we roll it out. We use it. Um, and then evaluation, we ask ourselves, did it work? So we have these five steps where we plan, we design something, we develop something, we roll it out, and we evaluate it. Addy does not define... So let's talk about what Addy isn't. Addy is not a process where I say how you do each of these things. There are many, many different processes out there that define how we should do an analysis. In fact, an analysis will change for every single project you're on because clients have different needs and there are different things you need to take into consideration. Uh, so there are a thousand different ways to do an analysis and there are many, many ways to do design and there are many, many ways to do development. Sometimes you can do them all at the same time and sometimes you do pieces of one thing and overlap and as you become a more advanced instructional designer, you figure out what you like, what works for you, what works for your clients, what works for your projects. But when you're first starting out, you try to follow this nice linear process you know, to understand how to do each of the steps. But that's not how you really always do it. But regardless of what process you're following, because there are tons and tons of them different out there, is the Dick and Carey model, the Kemp Morrison model, there are, I can just keep naming them. The Army has their own model. Every company kind of has their own model that they use. They kind of tailored it to themselves. But what they all have in common is they're all following Addy. Addy is the basic building block. You start there and then you figure out, hey, here's how we're actually going to do each of these. And that's all ADDIE is. So it's a basic, it's the, it's the main acronym we use in the field. Um, so hopefully that helps you have a better understanding of what that term is. Um, but that's all ADDIE is. Analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. Thank you.